under combination of capacitors this is one type of diagram which can be asked and in this question they are asking us to find out the equivalent capacitance between a and b all right so um, before solving this we need to understand certain things uh, whenever we have a <clears throat> wire which is not having any device connected okay but so for example there are two points here and there is nothing connected between the two points except for the wire same way here you have two points where nothing is connected no capacitor no resistor nothing is there so whenever you have this type of connection it means that both the points okay so let me name this as 1 this as 2 so point number 1 and 2 will have the same potential will have the same potential essentially it means that they are the same okay so can be taken as same points can be taken as a single point it can be taken as a single junction all right same way we can also say this for points 3 and 4 all right so point 1 2 3 4 all these four points um 1 and 2 are same potential 3 and 4 are same potential so 3 and 4 are also having the same potential so they can be taken as same points now let me name the other points also so let this point be 5 and let this point be 6 so i'll redraw this diagram so i begin with a <clears throat> and when i go to a i have two connections so one is 3 and the other one is 4 now since both are of the same potential we can write 3 and 4 as the same points okay so from 3 there is a point which goes to 6 so let us say that this is 6 so there is a capacitor between 3 and 6 and from 4 also you have a capacitor which goes to 6 isn't it so let the sixth point be here in the between okay so let this point be point number 6 so from 4 the capacitor gets connected to 6 then from 6 it goes to 2 okay so from point 6 the capacitor is connected to the terminal 2 and you know that 2 and 1 are same and then it goes and connects with the point b all right then from 2 to 5 okay so from 2 to 5 where is 5 we have to define phi now from 4 there is one more connection it is going up to 5 isn't it so what you can do is so i write 3 comma 4 here so from 4 you can draw another capacitor and name the terminal as 5 because we have not yet named the terminal 5 so we'll write 5 here and then we'll write the capacitor between 4 and 5 now between 2 and 5 there is one more capacitor so that capacitor is this clear so this is your connection basically so now we have to solve this so and uh, there's also one more between 1 and 5 okay so what we will do we will draw one more capacitor between 1 and 5 so this is your connection so basically you can redraw this as a straight line okay so you are having two parallel capacitors here two parallel capacitors here and then this one and this one this set will be in series and this set fully will be in series with this set and then both of them will be in parallel okay so we will just draw it solve it clear okay so what we will do we will take this as c c c c and c okay so when we have parallel connections so what do we do so let me take this first box okay so in this box what happens <clears throat> they both are in parallel so c plus c which is equal to 2c and once again for this box also you will be getting 2c so this is also equal to 2c so let me redraw this so i will get some diagram like this this is 2c this is c this is c and this is 2c okay so this is connected at point b this is connected at point a so 2c and c are connected in series so 1 by 2c plus 1 by c which will be equal to you can write 1 by 2c plus 2 by 2c that is equal to 3 by 2c and when you take the reciprocal you get 2c by 3 okay so these two together will give me 2 2c by 3 and these two also together will give me 2c by 3 because they both are same okay now let me redraw it so you are having 2c by 3 and 2c by 3 they are connected in parallel 2c by 3 2c by 3 they are connected between the points a and b 
so when we add them we get 2c by 3 plus 2c by 3 is equal to 4c by 3 so this will be your answer able to follow so what we had done first we have to identify this diagram so this is a short circuit so these two mean the same points and then you redraw the diagram assign new values and redraw the diagram for every junction and then you solve it step by step that's it